All right, Bow should be good to go, and we are me? recording. You hear me? What's up, buddy? Hey, bud. Dude, I would have thought you ranted enough today. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm pretty beat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. You know what, not, though, man? Not in a good way. <laughs> you know what, though, Bow? I think that I think that IG Live was so wonderful, man. And I'll tell you why. Because, you know, people forget, man, that not only are we human, that, you know, it, 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 it's a good, it's just a really good reflection, man, on how to go about life, right? Not just trading and asking questions. And it's just really good, man. We need these therapy sessions where you talk it out, man. Seriously, I need them half the time. You need them. We all need them. And there's so many people that have just been misled in this industry. I think it was really cool for people to hear, man. Seriously. Yeah. So the thing is, trading is, is in my opinion, 70% mental. Oh, yeah. We can, we can teach you all the rules, okay? We teach you all the rules, all the strategies, but being able to have the discipline to follow these rules, that, that is the toughest part of trading. That's why you see it's very hard to become a successful trader on your own. That's because trading, to me, is a mentored profession. It's like playing tennis or golf. I've been playing golf for 20 years <laughs> because I was egotistical. I never got lessons. I thought I could hack my way through. And I did pretty well hacking my way through, but then I could never break through that next level, right? Yeah. Same thing with most of these guys that are trading on their own, thinking they can do it. It's like the guy I met yesterday, five fucking years with the wrong mentor, and he still won't leave. Stand enough for it. This total Stockholm syndrome, bro. I mean, so, I mean, the first thing to do is, I mean – you got to look at yourself in the mirror and say, you know what, man? Point at yourself and say, I'm a dumbass. I'm an arrogant dumbass. I've been doing this shit for fucking five years. Insanity is doing the same thing over and over, expecting different results, right? right. So why the hell am I spinning my wheels? And then making excuses. I mean, it's like, it's quite obviously like a toxic relationship with a girlfriend. You know, that's exactly what it is, man. It's a toxic fucking relationship with your mentor. Oh, so, man, yeah. boy, boy knows you and I have been in those relationships where we know we have to leave, but we don't. And then we get back with them and expect different results. And we keep banging our head against the wall because it's like, dude, I love this girl, but she won't change. OK, I'll break up with her and get back together with her. Why is she still treating me like this? Well, you dumb fuck. It's like, of course you would. We went back to the relationship. Like, yep. it's that, no that, different that, with trading. And sometimes the toxic relationship is not with another person. It's with yourself. <laughs> yeah, seriously, man. I mean, I, I think it's just so relatable on so many levels, right? Doing the same shit over and fucking over and over and over. You know, it's sometimes it's you. <laughs> You're the fucking problem, you know? Well, uh, well and then, and then Bao, some, some of the beauty, man, about doing the same thing over and over is, dude, when you kick those bad habits and actually look at yourself in the mirror, and, and, and I like to think about everything as kind of like, you know, if it's bad, it's also good in a way, right? Dude, trainers want to nail everything. And I mean, every play possible. Like guys, we have all these, like I showed you, we have all these proprietary trading setups, right? That doesn't mean you try to nail all of these in the first week, find one that you really suit, like get suitable with and, and comfortable with, and then rinse and repeat and do that over and over, do the good habits over and over. Like th that's, that's kind of what we're getting at, man. Like, what does it mean to be a trader? And, you know, oh. Bao is a master of low-hanging fruit and channel trading. And that might not be some of your strengths, you know, for whoever's listening to this. Maybe it's longing. Maybe it's VWAP reclaims. So, like, be obsessive and consistent and do the same thing there. Be, be repetitive in what works, not the things that don't. Like, that's the thing that we're trying to get over here is a message to you guys. Yep. So, you have to figure out what the issue is. Is it a technical issue? Is it you don't know you know, like the strategies or is it a mental discipline issue? So once you figure out what the issue is, so the first part is this though, you can have the best discipline in the world, but the wrong strategies, you're screwed. You can have the best strategies in the world, but no discipline, you're screwed. And that's oh, why that's trading, so good. Right. And that's why having, I'm telling you, man, I'm not trying to sell MIC or anything like that, but having a community around you is a huge support system. That's why when you go see Wall Street, they're all trading together. They're not fucking a little box of room of themselves. They're together in a trading pit, right? And this is, so we don't have the luxury of doing that. So the closest thing is this chat room. Dude, where, and, and what's so funny, and to prove you right on that, bow, to prove you right, do you know how many times I've literally brought it up to Alex? I said, dude, if you, me, and Bao were truly in the same city, we would rent office space and show up every day to trading together in person. Like... 
<laughs> because it's fun, man. You want that community. You want that vibe. You want people like it's called, it's almost like Braveheart, right? Where he's like lining up the whole pack to go fight a war. And he's like, like hooting and hollering. And he's like getting everybody psyched up. Dude, that's why they do it in Wall Street. Fuck, we would be no different, man. We'd get office space and all trade together with debt. But, you know, we're halfway across the world, you know, from each other. But that's, I get it, man. Yeah, absolutely. And, and the same thing. Uh, if you're trading for Wall Street, they have a, they have a risk manager that watches over you. Yep. That's what a tab does. So you notice I'm trying to, we are trying to mimic the trading environment that professional Wall Street guys are doing. For you guys, I mean, where can you get that shit for 20 bucks a month, right? <laughs> I mean, yeah, serious. Um, you have a risk manager. I mean, we, we call it out. I mean, I can't fucking watch all everybody's positions. You can't watch mine. And so sometimes you have, so like today, Alex knew how I was fucked in trouble because I was quiet. <laughs> so yeah, you know, no, and then we were like, what do you mean you're touching RGC? <laughs> oh, shit. Your, your, your tab knows you best, right? And that's basically your risk manager. So the only thing, I mean, you can lie to your risk manager. But doesn't help anybody except yourself. I mean, it doesn't hurt anybody except yourself. So, right. um, so the first step is to, I mean, we are providing you every single type of service you can imagine from risk management, that's the tab, from compliance officer, all this stuff, that's, that's the max data loss, right? Things like that. Uh, now it's up to you. Sometimes, guys, sometimes you, you have to get your ass kicked maybe 10 times in order to learn. Some people don't need to get their ass kicked, some people need to learn right away. So it's all up to you. And I, my advice to you guys is this, man. Everybody goes through a shitty day. Uh, you have to have someone to talk to, uh, to calm you down. They know your trigger points. And so today I went to rent because they know a lot of things. When, when, when things happen, they happen in bunches for some reason, right? When you're having a bad day, next thing you know, you're fighting with, with someone. And, you, and then, you know, like you're fucking, you're, something happens. Something, something always happens in bunches, right? When good things happen, all of a sudden, Many good things happen. Yeah, it's like the momentum of like life, right? So, I mean, you have to be aware of that sometimes. You need someone to just cut you off. Today, I wish I had someone to cut me off, but then that's where your max daily loss comes in. And to be honest, I was so arrogant. I had one account that was a bigger size account that did not have a max daily loss. Oh, and shit. That fucking chewed me up. Um, now I'm fucking gonna put that shit back in. You know? I mean, shit. <laughs> Val, did you I remove mean, it, you bastard? <laughs> oh, it, it was just never implemented. You oh know? shit! I was gonna say I, I've never, I've never had that happen like that. that has got so many damn accounts he loses track. He's like, oh shit, I forgot to put Max Loss on that one. <laughs> the broker told me too, like, what the fuck are you doing, Val? You know, why don't you put this shit on, you dumbass? Well, Val, did you did you want to talk about what you did wrong in the morning on a on a price action like kind of like view like well, what like what you did? I mean, I, I I went through a great streak. I mean, I've I've been on a, on a roll, right? Yeah. Being on a roll, sometimes I break rules, and I got away with it. That's I mean, overly it, cocky, yeah. yeah. And so all it takes, I'm telling you, man, all it takes is one time, and that's where the max lady loss. That's where those restraints come in when you do start breaking your fucking rules because you think you know better, right? God, so my advice to you now is the first thing you got to do, guys, all your brokers set your max lay loss. That is your fucking parachute when shit happens. Well, and the cool part is, is guys, even when you don't understand price action or trading, you know, at, at all yet, you can still do that on day one. So you just never get in the habit of risking anything more than you're willing to lose or that your broker is going to cut you off at. Like, dude, you can do that the day you get a broker, like day number one. So... You know, it's like if you equate it to baseball and it's like, hey, I'm a new trader. What do I do? How do I get to first base? Then second base. I mean, that's first base, man. That's like that's like even before you walk up to the, the pitcher's mound, to be honest, or the batter's box. You know, but, you know, we try to give you guys analogies that you can understand, right? Yep. So the first thing you guys have to do, guys, call your broker, set max money loss. I don't care what the hell it is, okay? You have to set that shit. And um, those that don't eventually is going to break that. I mean, everybody's human. You will snap. And I'm telling you, man, it happens. <laughs> it happened to me today. And I'm like, what the fuck was I doing? Why didn't I have a max daily loss on this shit? So, because so about what was it on what was it on a process level that outside of max daily loss, like on a technical level, what did you break in your process? But were you were you short? I, I pretty much scaled too fast. I didn't see my size balloon yep. up. And that's usually what happens, man. Yeah, guys, because like, because remember guys, like one of the things that, you know, Alex and, and I talk about a lot and Bao talks about this too, is this is MIC process is if something's over VWAP, man, and you're not a real, even the advanced traders do it 30% size, like just make sure that you have a real hard cap on the size that you're using. If you are playing counter trend a little bit 
or shorting something over VWAP, right? Like that's something that keeps traders is, safe. Is it, is it even beyond that, guys? I mean, we, everybody knows not to do that shit. Yeah, totally. But you have to understand why you're doing it. And I'll tell you why. It's because you got away with it in the past. And so RGC, last time I traded and I've nailed it. And I looked at that PL. I mean, relatively, it's great for everybody else. But for me, I'm like, fuck, why didn't I size up? And so in my head, I'm like, okay, this motherfucker, it came back. And this is my chance to size the fuck up and kill it, right? And then, so when you deviate from your process, and that's what happened, right? I deviated. And I, I'm like, dude, I was not happy before with my giant, you know, my, my fucking gains, right? And right. so... Um, and so, so now this is what's, and I, I call it the, the cousin of the revenge trade is the makeup trade. <laughs> the, <laughs> yes, the trade. So there's a bunch of types of um, FOMO, the FOMO of missing the trade. So you chase and then the FOMO of not making enough money, <laughs> which happens all the fucking time. Oh man, that's the worst. So that becomes the makeup trade. And so then you start to size up where you should not, because you missed out on the first time around. Make sense, guys? And so that is the deadly fucking brother, cousin, whatever you want to call it, right? Incestuous relationship. With, That's you don't, the ugly step, Jeff. You don't want that kind of relationship. These are the fucking ugly stepsisters that, no, wait, that's pretty bad. Brothers, good. <laughs> we were trying to be a piece of now. Okay. And, uh, I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying it, it's just bad, guys. So you have the to be. Red headed stepchild, man. There, there are many forms of FOMO, guys. Many forms of FOMO that the thing is, people do not understand. You know, people understand the generic FOMO of chasing a trade, but, but the deadly ones are the greed. Dude, and, and, and like if we went back to live now, like before the open, dude, look at how much this kind of fooled people, right? Like, dude, look at how fast that can happen if you're not careful. And that's and range. That, you know why? Check a look back at, two, you know, a couple of days ago. Oh, know? yeah. Th this day right here. Yeah. Like, so, if you're, so, so if you're worked, just it looking at that. Time. It worked every time, guys. Correct. Correct. And RGC was scary as hell. I sized down and I made money every day on it. Every day I made money on it. And then I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? Why am I a pussy? <laughs> Why am I fucking size the fuck up? So I went 10 times size of what I should, what yeah. I normally did. So next thing you know, I'm in fucking 5,000 shares short of that stuff. <laughs> oh like, shit, Bell, five that with range like that, dude? I'm, I'm just sitting there like, what the fuck? And it, so what I did was I did mitigate my risk. I didn't lose that much. And then I'm like, this motherfucker. So, so what I did was I tripled my loss. <laughs> yeah. And so so what happened was this. Actually, I doubled the loss, and I got pissed, and then I, I slammed T-Cat, and then it just ripped on me. <laughs> so when, what happens is, okay, when bad, one bad trade happens, it happens in bunches, right, guys? Right. So, so this is this thing that this is what max daily loss helps you with. Okay, I think okay, listen very carefully. This is this is the anatomy of blowing up. When you first initially lose, it's not that much. Okay, let's say I'm gonna make it up. Let's say you make it, you lose 10 grand, right? It's not that much, right? Um, then you're like, fuck, okay, I can make 10 grand back, and then you lose 20 grand. <laughs> and then you're like, fuck this shit. You know, you can't take a 20 grand. Yeah, I can't sacrifice my ego and take a 20 grand loss. I better make it back now, right? Yep, and then you end up losing forty more grand. Yeah, literally. Now you're dead. So you turned a ten thousand dollar loss into a sixty thousand dollar loss, sure. very easily. And that's what that's what happens. This is why you need that max day loss to stop because the moment you lose a certain amount, your brain is fucked. You cannot recover because you cannot think clearly anymore. As you're in the back of your mind, you're fucking like pissed off. You oversize. You 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 just try to make it up desperately. And this is how people fucking blow up. And this is why. This is why you need that max lady loss and not even the max lady loss. For some reason, my max lady loss didn't trigger, guys. <laughs> Seriously, I'm not going to say whatever, but I'm like, what the fuck? It, it went over my max lady loss. It did not trigger. So I think somewhere along the line, you have to keep calling your broker every month to rem because I'm not going to blame the brokers. It's, it's not my fault, but I'm just saying, you know what, man? Shit happens. Sometimes these max lady loss gets, gets undone on their side for yeah. some reason. So this is my warning for you. My max daily loss did not trigger. And I'm like, what the fuck? But who am I going to complain to, right? So I'm not the kind of guy that's going to fucking complain because it's my fucking fault. I lost. Um, but but it did not trigger. <laughs> I'm looking at this shit. And I'm like, what the fuck? 
It did not trigger. But the last time it didn't trigger, you know what happened? I was so very happy it didn't trigger because I made my money back. And so remember I told you, man, uh, when you break a rule and you're rewarded, you're often rewarded the minimum. When you break a rule and lose, you often lose the maximum, which is your entire account, right? Yeah, um, seriously. It, it only takes one, guys. It takes one TCAT and one RGC to lose millions of dollars in a day. Like if so you I, let it, if you let it. Is, man. So I've, I've, I turn a manageable loss where I can make it back into pretty much like a, a ridiculous amount of stupid loss. <laughs> um, I won't tell you what, but it's all relative, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, this is, I mean, so the lesson, once again, guys, you know, you, you break a rule and you get away with it. Eventually it's going to catch up with you. And this is where you, so this is, so the analogy I, I, I talked to Steven about, uh, on the yesterday's IG live was you need multiple layers of defense. You can't just have one. This is why a car has a bumper. Uh, beneath and the bumper. an airbag and a seatbelt, like and, yeah. a, and an engine behind it, all this stuff. Because the bumper goes, you're fucked, right? <laughs> the yep. engine goes, you're fucked. The seatbelt goes, you're fucked. The airbag goes, you're fucked. <laughs> and so you know you have multiple layers of defense. And so that's why you have health insurance, <laughs> life insurance. <laughs> Star insurance. <laughs> so same thing with trading, guys. Don't fucking think that having a stop loss is going to stop you from blowing up. Because you will go back into that trade heavier in size. Don't think that having a max day loss will stop you because you will hold on to that loser hoping it comes down but it never comes down you need an auto liquidation max loss okay auto liquidation when it hits shut the fuck up you're done for the fucking day and that's what the risk manager does at wall street um Seriously. so right now you can max day loss doesn't mean shit if you call your broker and you take it off i, I hear a lot of stories about members doing that and i don't know what to tell you right so what you need to do is tell the broker, even if I call you, do not fucking let you do it. Sign some fucking shit that, that you are you are basically your own fucking nut, worst nightmare, man. It's so basically it's uh, I, I equate it to being drunk. When you're drunk, you you don't know what the fuck you're doing, dude. You are just so when you're losing, you you are basically drunk. And so you would do crazy shit that, and then you wake up the next day and what the fuck I'm doing? Calling your broker to remove this fucking shit. Um, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Uh, lying, it's like being a crack addict, dude. You would lie, cheat, steal, whatever the fuck it is to get your fucking fix in, right? So, um, dude, all bets are off with the Henny, bro. So, so, uh, respect that. So, the first thing I do, man, I'm telling you right now, man, I'm actually lost my ass. I've fucking learning from me, bro. Um, it's the thing is, you know, because you always think you can make it back. Sure, sometimes. When have you ever made it back? Seriously, <laughs> like one. <in> <laughs> That's so funny. It's like the unspoken. When have you really ever made it back? <laughs> real, bro. When have you fucking ever made it back? <laughs> <laughs> fucking real, right? Right. Well, Dude, it's like it, realistically, about realistically, it's like one, maybe two times you actually make it back, dude. But and that's and that's amount. being generous. There's there's a certain amount of size that. Once you reach, you can't fucking make that bag. <laughs> Unless you fucking start to gamble as fuck. And this is my and this is my tip to you guys on how to determine whether or not you uh, you will make it back or not. When you so you know what your average gains are per day. Be realistic. That's what you can make back. <laughs> when you 10 times by that, how could the fuck you make that back in one day? <laughs> yeah, seriously. So so when you lose, how much did you lose? You lose a day, two days? Okay, maybe you can make that back. You lose more than that? Forget it, dude. Shut the fuck. Shut it down. Wait for the Shut it down. Shut it down. Yep. Aloha, trader. What's up, man? Are you here? Oh, shit. I thought you'd be in the gym right now working out. <laughs> dude, Aloha, trader is trying to look like freaking Thor in Love and Thunder. Yeah, man, he's, he's fucking getting really ripped, man. <laughs> dude, Al, we got Alex working out these days. We got Austin working out, dude. Val, we got to do something, man. <laughs> dude, like, well, be, being fucking poor makes you work out because you, <laughs> you just can't afford to eat, bro, and drink. <laughs> Guys, do you have any questions for Val and I today on any of these topics? Anything like maybe, you know, like what was going through Val's head in the morning? I'm sure you know. He kind of discussed it. But, like, do you have any questions about this? Like, this is kind of like an this open forum. Guys, guys, what I just told you is huge. No one's going to fucking tell you this shit on Twitter. 
No one even knows this shit. No one talks about risk management. No one talks about the worst case scenario. Right. Uh, they just fucking pretend that it's the fucking algos and manipulation. This is why people fucking get scammed. And that's why I call it these things, these guys online a scammer. Because they don't talk the truth. They don't fucking tell the truth. They, they make everything fucking roses. You know? Any questions, guys? Because, because, because it's, not, it's not sexy for a service to promote stuff like this, like max loss and trading should be boring and true education. And it's not sexy. It's not lifestyle. It's not sexy. It's actually kind of mundane from a, from a bird's eye. Right. But it's what makes consistent traders guys. It's what makes you profitable. Um, Aloha just said, like I said, in my afternoon trading webinar, afternoon trading is full of people who lost in the morning. Thus, people go bigger and expect bigger miracle moves to bail them out, which is why shit only channels or the stock that hasn't given up won't give it up yet. That's why I always tell people if you're still around after the first 90 minutes, check to see if you're still here because you are red, uh, you missed or you aren't satisfied with your green. That's really good, man. I love that. That, that is exactly right, man. It, it's just, dude, it's just exactly correct. This is why people never make it back. Is what Val and I are trying to say, man. When do you ever fucking make it back? Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's it's it comical, back. dude. <laughs> Don't make it back. <laughs> yeah, you'll never make it back, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You're too deep. And sometimes you're going to fucking leave it. And then what happens is this. Let's say you start, let's say you have a $30,000, $50,000 account. We're making up, right? $50,000. Okay, 50K. And then you lose 10 grand. You're like, fuck, fuck. Okay, I can still make back. And then now you lose 20, like, fuck, I only have 30,000 left. And then after some point, you, you just want to give it all up. You're like, fuck this shit. I'm already under PDT. I'm already, whatever it may be, right? I have only 20 coins left. And then you have 10. You basically, you, it's like gambling. Go to the casino. At the end of the day, you have a little, let's say you have $1,000 left. And you came in with 10 grand. And you're just like, fuck this shit. I'm going to put the, the last, I'm going to lose everything. And then when you get home, you're like, that's a thousand dollars you just threw away. <laughs> still you know, I should have kept that thousand bucks. Right? You're, it's like, what the fuck am I thinking, bro? A thousand dollars is fucking better than zero. <laughs> bro, that's like groceries for two weeks. <laughs> like, oh, so, shit. That's the thing, man. So, I mean, at some point, you think that it's useless, but then you, you sober up. And this is why you need to not get to that point where where you are like that, man. Because the moment you get like that, it's just, it, there's no saving you. It's over. See, the, these are guys right now trying to make it back on the shorts that they lost in the morning. <laughs> Look, SPR team. Dude. The, this, is, this is a visual representation of guys trying to make it back. <laughs> what time is it, guys? Dude. What time is it? It's the last hour, guys. Under one hour. What do we tell you all the time? Your window to short, I'll draw it for you, is right. Let's go through the time-based rules again for them. Yep. So in, in, in the first hour of the day, guys, the shaded time is obviously pre-market. So the first hour, forgive me, it's still West Coast time on here. So don't look at the numbers. Just look at the lines. This is the only time you actually truly have an edge shorting right here to right here. So the first hour and then obviously uh, 2 to 3 p.m. Eastern and then all else is either zombie time lull, long edge, and or just chop that shorts should probably not really getting acquainted with unless it's the outermost line and or the top of a channel. Um, and that's coming from a short a shorts perspective. So when Val's shorting during these times, you'll notice that something has already put it in a top massively, yeah, set up a range, and he's hitting that said top. You know what yep. I mean? All these fuckers. Yeah, yep. yeah, channeling. Exactly. But here's what happens. Here's what happens when you trade out of the time that you shouldn't be trained. This line right here is the final, in fact, I'll move it even more. It's right there. Sorry, it's that candle. And this is a three minute chart. That's the last minute shorts actually have an edge. Look what happened. Like, that's insane, dude. That's, this is why we have rules. Shit that you guys have to obey, man. Seriously. Dude, dude, you just gotta be disciplined if you wanna be a trader, man. I have to like choke people out to get the message through. You don't have to be a genius, dude. Just oh, stop I'm fucking you, shorting Tosh, during Tosh, this time in these. This is the problem, Tosh. You can I tell know, dude. you be disciplined, but how? Okay, so I, we got, so, so I'm always focused on the how, not, not necessarily like, you know, the, the obvious shit, right? Yeah, like well, the solution people, over the problem. Like, like what's the oh, solution? So I mean, I hate it when people go, well, well you want to fucking make money, go to school. I don't want to fucking go to school, you know? So you have to find a way <laughs> to fucking do that shit, right? So yeah, how do you stop someone from, from blowing up their shit? 
I mean, I'm not here to fucking reward you for good actions. That's you're in a fucking adult now at this point, right, guys? You're in a fucking adult. Um, but but we can help you implement ways such as the tab. Maybe we have to assign a tab to whoever fucking comes in. I don't know what the hell it, it is. I've tried every single method in the book to help people across these decades. Yep. And people still fuck up, including myself. God, you know, you, Bao, I just had an idea. I mean, obviously, this is more of a joke, and it's kind of on the funny side. But seriously, dude, I'm not kidding you. If there was a broker that we could create, like we could create like an MIC platform or something where shorts were literally, it would cut you off after the first hour. Like you can't even short oh, if you oh, wanted yeah. to. Oh, yeah. No, that's the wrong way to think. Okay. So I'm going to tell you something. To get to the next level is this. It's discipline, bro. No, I mean, I mean, everybody's style is different, right, guys? Alex has, Alex has a different style. So don't tell people they should blanketly do that. What do you <laughs> no, need? No, no. I, I mean, I, I, if you're a short seller, what? I mean. What, what you need, even shorts, even shorts. So the, the thing is this, these, these generic rules we have are generic. You take them, you apply them, and then you refine it for your own strategies, okay? The, the blow up is not because they trade after fucking zombie hour. The blow up is they don't use a hard stop. The blow up is they don't have max A loss. The blow up is their max A loss is way too big. I know some fucking traders here that max A loss is a third of their account. You know, um, it cannot be like that, right? It could be like, it should be like two days of your count, three days, yeah, right? Yeah, I, I always say two to three days at the absolute maximum, yep. So, so I do, I will start doing this, man. Stop telling people, stop trading off the zombie hour. I will fucking, we should say, what is your max lay loss? How do you have max lay loss? Make them put that shit in. Let them blow up every fucking day they want. They still won't blow their account up. Yeah, that's actually really, yeah, that's probably the only way to go about it. Because you can't take away like people's free will, but it's like, fuck, man. It's like, how do you get people to be disciplined? Because you know, man, some people, to be honest, some people make money during fucking zombie hours. It's true. You know? It's true. Yeah, so, I mean, some people break rules make money. Who gives a fuck what they do? Because who, who's right and who's wrong, right? How, how just, the fuck am I supposed to know? You know it's the problem. Me. It's stopping remember, the massive losses, you're saying. I'm saying, remember what I keep saying. You can trade however you want as long as you predefine your risk. Yep, I love that. Okay, and how do you predefine your risk? Fucking put that start. I, mean, I cannot stop you from putting a hard stop in, but I can do this. Have the broker set the max data loss for you. Auto yep. liquidation. I think that's the next step, guys. Uh, max data loss is not enough. Auto liquidation max data loss. You're done, motherfucker. You manage your position so that you don't trigger that shit. When you trigger that shit, it will, it will close all your positions and you're done for the day. Well, I'll tell you what, man. I wish I wish my platform actually kicked me the fuck out after the first hour. I wish it like locked me out permanently. You can. You can. You can call them. Yeah. There are brokers that do that, bro. Yeah, They're but broke. I mean, people could, you could always sway people and turn it back on. Dude, I've done that back in the day. Like, I don't well, I mean, dude, that, I mean, that's, that's, that's your own fucking shit, man. I'm, I'm <laughs> talking about that when I was a new trader, bro. I'm no, so but I know, but I'm just days. saying, you see what I'm saying, guys? So, you know, the, I've, I've, been, I've been trying to figure out how to stop people from blowing up, seriously, guys, for a long time. Yeah. And so we came up with this max free loss of works. And then people defeat it, right? They call in, like you said, right? All that sound stuff. So, so I mean, Screaming people not to fucking trade during during time. They will fucking do it. <laughs> but I let them. Do, it's like you want to drive, go. But at least wear a seatbelt. Yeah, wear your seatbelt. Yeah. And get a safe car. Yeah. Yeah. So that's exactly what it is, man. So I, I think, I mean, we, we, like, we can preach all the shit we want. But at the end of the day, guys, you got to wear your seatbelt, dude. Not only the seatbelt, you better make sure you got an airbag. You better make sure you've got a fucking bumper. <laughs> and, all the, and maybe you have to wear a fucking helmet. Or you want you gotta drive and wear a condom too, man. I don't fucking know. And a mask, you know. <laughs> so that's what, man. So I think the the theme of today is very simple, man. Risk management. And without risk management, it's always you, risk management. It always has been. Always, always think forever. about this, man. You could be the best is in the world, and some fucking Karen comes along, and you just snap. You punch the shit out of that Karen. <laughs> yeah, and then your life's over, right? Like you're in prison, yep. you're sued, you're yep. freaking crazy. You, 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 you live the perfect fucking life, and then one troll sets you off. 
Dude, not 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 even that, man. Freaking cancel culture, man. Remember what happened to Kramer from Seinfeld, dude? He was he was the most idolized comedic <laughs> character in TV, and he had one bad night at a comedy show, really bad. Mm-hmm. I mean, fuck, he turned out to be a total racist. But like, it only <laughs> <was one. laughs> dude, dude, that's a bad example. That's that's a really. I just mean that it only <laughs> takes one incident to ruin your entire career, and that's trading, man. It's like, yeah, let alone he was freaking a closet, freaking full blown racist, but. I just mean, man, that it's like, it's just, it's like dude, one car accident can end your life. One trade can blow up an account. One bad night at the comedy store where you bring out all your demons. You're done, dude. Like, and that's the point is like, you have to protect yourself in life, man. Like you don't ever want to get to the point where you're in so much danger of your account size or physical <laughs> security. Like, I don't know, man. It's just, it's, it's, you can use it in so many different examples, right? That's the thing, man. So I, you know, man, people trade however they want. I let people do what the fuck they want to do. Uh, eventually, they're gonna start losing. They're gonna fucking learn. But when they lose, I don't want them to lose their entire account. Yeah, yeah, because guys, you, you, we're traders, man, and and arguably professional gamblers. If you lose every now and then, it's okay if it's mitigated, if it's small, if you inhibit bad losses. Losing one to three days is not gonna end your career. Fuck, it might not even end your week. But when you lose a month or you lose two months, then you're, me- then you're mental shot. It ain't even the money, man. I hate, I, you know what I hate about most of all about big losses. This is what I fucking hate dude is what, and there's a lot of people on Twitter that do it. They go, Oh, but it's okay. I'm still up a couple mil on the year. And I'm like, dude, but how fucked is your mental right now, bro? You just lost three and months of your I, year. I, 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 you know, that's part of the Christian game bullshit guys. That's yeah, it's I, bullshit. When I know, that's what I know people are not a real fucking mentor. They're just fucking an evil maniac narcissist. Um, because I can, I can go back. This is how the cushion game works once again. Oh, I'm still up this week. Oh, I'm still up this month. Oh, fuck. I lost some more. I'm still up this year. Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm, still I'm still up, up this up. lifetime. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, but, 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 okay. I lost this lifetime. But, 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 you know, uh, Blah blah blah, right? <laughs> and, then like, and then it's like, oh, dude, it's all good reincarnation. I'm still up three yeah, lifetimes. You know, you know, like, what the fuck? I would, I would enjoy the MIC afterlife, you know? <laughs> I was a billionaire in my last life, dude. It's all good. Like, I'm still up. So that's the thing, man. You know, I mean, you gotta be fucking careful about shit like that, guys. So, I just so once again, man, I, the, the only the only thing that I've ever figured out how to fucking stop people is to not let them broker level max day loss auto liquidation. Yeah. Yeah, that's about it. That's the best you're going to get because you still need the free will to trade. Like Val said, you can't just have a platform that literally shuts down or blows up in your face. Like, because you know what, man, who's to say our strategies is the best strategy, man. I, I, I've, I've done very well during zombie hours. The problem once again is no massively loss on this account. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, that's the thing. I mean, you don't want one fuck up to ruin your whole shit, right? So, so, so it, always comes, it always comes back to risk management. Every time, always will. It always will. Yep. Yeah, I agree. And, then, and the thing is, the thing is, no one talks about it except us. So, yeah. and, then, and then they, you know, they, they say, oh, I mean, I'm up. They're, they're, that's why, who's here in webinars? Is it, anybody listening to us in webinars? I think, yeah, we got a lot of people in here. <laughs> okay. Um, ask them, man. We, we, you know, I, speak up. I mean, dude, you know, why did you leave your last service? I, I'm hearing all the time that they have no fucking risk management or all this shit. And so, uh, and so whose fault is that? Is that the mentor's fault or your fault? You know? And so what are you going to do differently now? Because I don't want you to go through that same fucking horrible feeling of the, being killed over and over. Right. So, yeah, seriously. Um, so who here, who here, just reply, has a max day loss? Say yes. Who here does not say no? Those that say no, can you tell us why not? Yeah. Be honest, guys. Like maybe you haven't gotten it. Oh, wow. A lot of yeses. Good. Good. And be honest, guys. Be honest. If you don't, say it. Say you don't, because we're trying to help you. We're trying to get you to and set I it. Want, I, well, I just want to tell you guys why. You know, I mean, that's the thing. So for yeah. me, I was like, I was arrogant on this account because that never happened before. And so I turn around like, what the fuck? I mean, 5,000 shares of RGC is a red show. There's no fucking low case. And how the fuck were they able to fucking squeeze this all the way up? Yep. And then I found, I found out why. And I, I'm like, dude, there's a bug on the fucking, there's a bug on this fucking app. 
Okay, when there's a red show, let me look it up to see, make sure it's red show. So Cobra actually blocked it, so that was good. So, you know, be glad that they blocked it. Let me, let me take a look at this. Okay. Actually, Bell, the only two traders that, that I see that are no's are actually very new to the community. So that's the only reason it seems that they don't. Jay Calvin, definitely recommend doing it, brother. Um, who else Who else didn't? Uh, my see ah Jay Arrows. I think you guys are both new, man. So just just put it on, man. It's gonna save you. I mean, you learn from us, man. Do you know how many years? Oh, you just kind of curious why not trading with money, strictly education. Well, I mean, of course, man. You train a fucking yeah, yeah. What one said he just didn't even know he could do that because um, you know, we kind of made that famous. Like this is nobody else is talking about this, right? So you know, it's something that's very important. Okay, so I fucked up. This is where I fucked up. I'm not blaming anybody, guys. So yeah. uh, let me see. Brother. So RTC got blocked. It was, uh, is it was a threshold stock for some reason, and for some reason some brokers turned off that flag, and and then so now so R so if it's a threshold which is a red show stock you're supposed to be able, you're supposed to locate it and use it only one time, and so what happens is once the locate's done you you make your trade you have to locate again and you run out of shares right, and you can't locate anymore you're you know. And so that is a huge advantage for those that can short because to sustain a short squeeze, you have to have shorts, right? And so shorts blow up and they can't re-enter because there are no more shorts to look at. For some fucking reason, I was able to refresh this shit all day long and I've traded massive size of the shit. And I'm thinking to myself, um, so I didn't even, in the beginning, I didn't know I could recycle. So I stopped trading. I was like, fuck, okay, I'm good. I fucking, you know, I can make this money back. And then the moment I did that test, I'm like, hmm, what if, what if I could, let me try to be sneaky. I try to defeat the system, right? And I'm like, holy fuck. And when does that ever work? <laughs> they, they didn't stop me. So I'm, here I am fucking happy as hell. I'm able to, to revenge trade <laughs> because <laughs> the system, the system is letting me reuse my locates. On a red show threshold stock, you cannot. And this is why RSGC fucking ran to the fucking moon. Because the system, if they let me, it means that everybody that is able to short can refresh their shit. And so therefore, instead of having a red show, low availability, it turns into an easy to borrow situation. So RTC became an easy to fucking borrow red show, road show stock. For those that get short. And so that's how they're able to. I'm like, how the fuck are they squeezing? Who the fuck is it being squeezed? If there's no more fucking shorts, it's because they're able to. So shit like this, you learn every day. Some new shit that comes on every fucking day. Because I'm telling you right now, man, take a look, back test it. Look at a look at all the stocks that have squeezed huge. It's because it's easy to borrow. You have to have or a large supply of shorts. RGC, that was, it ran out. I fucking located 5,000 shares in the morning of this shit. Because I thought that I had to refresh. I don't want 5,000 fucking shares of the stock. And so, so I, I got 5,000 fucking shares of RGC. Thinking that I can use it only one time. Makes sense? So if I short 1,000 shares, I could do that five times. Right, guys? And now I'm able to do 5,000 shares over and over and over. And so that's what killed me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck happened? That will find <laughs> every loophole there's ever been invented. <laughs> so let me take a look. RTC. <sighs> yeah, because Cobra blocked it. And so I'm stupid. It, it's... So Cobra, thank God Cobra blocked it. Otherwise, you guys would have blown up. <laughs> um because I, I was flawed. I was thinking RGC was threshold stock because it was the other day. I think today they took it off, man. Fuck. And that's why I ran. So you have to do your due diligence. Yesterday it was a threshold stock, guys. I'm, let me take a look again. I'm going to double confirm, right? Oh, I fucked up this one, man. Fucking shit. It's all good, brother. As long as we... No, 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 no. But, I'm, but you see, when I lose, when I lose, I find out why. I, you notice I don't fucking make excuses, right? So I'm fucking trying to figure out why I fucking, why this thing ran. So that when the next time comes, it ran because of this. Okay, guys? RGC was red show yesterday. I'm pretty sure it was because Cobra blocked it. Today, Cobra still blocked RGC. Today, RGC went off that threshold stock. And I did not know that. Um, there is a list 
if you're trading shit, there is a fucking list. There's a NASDAQ list. I'm going to post it right now. You Google, say Google Red Show, and there is a New York Stock Exchange Roach, uh, Red Show. And then here's, here's the fucking link for the New York Stock Exchange one. The list okay. of stocks. And so RTC is not on there today. It was only yesterday, guys. You see that? You see? So that's how it ran. These are sneaky motherfuckers. You see that guy? It's like turning on and off SSR. Dude, if you are unaware long. of like SSR, you see? If you are unaware of SSR, and the, you can get fucked. So you always have to. So, so this is a new shit, man. Notice all these stocks are running. So many of them are a threshold red show stock, such as, what's another one? SPRT. SPRT is a red show. But the locations are so fucking cheap, they keep refreshing. So I, get, I, I fucking, I must have, let me see how many fucking times I, 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 I got. I, SPRT. I actually made money on that shit. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> so let me count how many fucking shares I fucking located this shit. Actually, not much. Maybe that's why I made money. I located eight, 20,000 shares of SPRT. And they kept on refreshing. <laughs> so, 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 th- so notice a lot of these stocks are running now. So every, everybody's trying to gain something. Okay. So we know SSR. We, everybody's aware of it because we educate people on SSR, right? We educate people on easy to borrow. So they, so now we, we know which stocks to avoid going size because of zombie, because it's easy to borrow, right? Now they're doing this fucking red show threshold bullshit. And RGC up until today, yesterday, the day before was on the red show list. That's why Cobra blocked it. Today, Cobra still blocked it. Let me, let me do a screenshot for you what it looks like when they block it. God, I never thought I'd see Regal Theaters over here. It's crazy. See, it says this on your locate monitor. This is a sign that is a red show, guys. See that, guys? You see that? Either security is easy to exclude or price is less. So when you get this error, but there's shares to be... So I tried to locate 2,100 shares on Cobra, and it rejected. But I'm like, so then I'd go, and then as I, I'm stupid. I didn't do my checks. The hard part about checking the, 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 the there's a NASDAQ. I, I'd send you guys two lists. One's NASDAQ, one is New York Stock Exchange, right? So it doesn't, you have to check on both. <laughs> and so, so knowing the fact that something came off of Red Show, be fucking careful. Now shorts are hammering this shit because now everybody can short it and refreshing it. And so now the supply of shorts available is huge. Does it make sense, guys? Oh, In order for stock to squeeze, you need to have shorts that are stuck. If there are no short locates, there is no way that stock could be sustained on a squeeze. It's just it's not going to have. That's, that's why. Like, that's why problems. Alex. That, that's why Alex would pay a dollar a share to locate a stock, because he knows the moment that goes up, it cannot be sustained. RTC today, I fucked up. I did not look because I assumed it was. I swear, man, I'm sitting there wishing I had shares to short. After I covered for a loss in the morning, um, I'm like, fuck, I wish I had shares to short. <laughs> and, I, and, and I'm like, what if I just fucking try? What, what, maybe it could be an error. I'm like, holy fuck. I could keep refreshing my 5,000 shares. Oh, man. Yeah. 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 So, that's, so I'm all day, I'm like puzzled. Why? How is it? So, when, so, so you understand now the nature of a short squeeze, guys. So this is something new. That I haven't fucking encountered before, and that's why I got fucked up today. Because I'm thinking in my head it's red show. No one has shares to short. It has to come down. Even Alex talked about that. No shares to short come down. But, but dude, <laughs> it, it, it's not red show. It's fucking. You can reuse your shorts over and over. You see, I I located five thousand shares not because I want to use five thousand fucking shares. It's because I want to use a thousand shares at a time. You see what I'm saying? So I could make five flips. And so now I'm fucking, so people are getting stuck like me and not unaware. And that's how 
that's what happened, man. That's my that is my thesis, guys. I'm right or wrong, I don't know, but um, you know, I think it's that, that, that's what happened to me. And so if it happened to me, it might happen to other big traders. Makes sense, brother. Makes makes crystal clear sense to me. The TCAT locate was pretty expensive. Cobra Day, I didn't expect that move. Yeah, TCAT had a big move too. Crazy. We're just, we're, and we're also transitioning into a market with a lot of traps. I mean, it's not just solo, you know, it's not just RGC. It's like, you know, SP, S, SPRT right now, even AMC had squeezes this morning, freaking ADT, bro, ADTX. This stuffed every time it ran for the first 30 minutes and then right back up and stuff and right back up. And so it was crazy. Like this is just kind of a little bit nutty of a market, to be honest. The, the meme stonks are back, as Alex tweeted today. <laughs> and, and I'm telling you, man, uh, you guys are fortunate because you see my losses today led into more rules. It led into more insight on why these squeezes happen. So you, you basically are <laughs> – you I, my, my big loss – you are paying to avoid. <laughs> so now you understand. So go through your checks. So one check you got to check is red show once again. Because sometimes, man, you sh you're going to be fucking lucky that you, you should be all be lucky that fucking a Cobra Block RGC, guys. Cobra Block RGC today. So be careful what you wish for. So sometimes having the ability to short something may not be a good thing. You have to understand. If, if, if I knew that came off the red show, man, I would not be fucking locating 5,000 shares. Because what happens is this, guys. Remember we talked about it. There are a lot of these rules, right? Max daily loss. There's also a max share size rule. My max share size on that shit was, was 2,100 shares. Yeah, I was going to say, Val, for that kind of range, that 5,000, man, that's a shit ton. But that's what I'm trying to tell you. So yep. if I had if I had two thousand shares max to to short, my max my cap my losses would be capped. Make sense? Yep. So having having a max size, start to implement a max size for you too, because that's another layer 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 of defense. And this is why you know that I try to locate only twenty one hundred shares, because I thought I can. That's the max size I want, right? Um, and then, but then I'm like, oh, it's red show. I'm going to take 5,000 so I can flip it a few times. Yeah, seriously. And then next, you know, I'm fucking in 5,000 shares of this shit. And I'm like, fuck. And it's ripping 10 points on me, 20 points, whatever the fuck it may be, right? Yeah. Um, so, so it's cool. But, but you see what I'm saying, guys? So, so now you understand, you know how much money we, I lost? to come up with the zombie rule, how much money I lost to come up with the 3 p.m. rule. Uh, because when you start trading, you don't understand why these moves happen. Think about it. Now it's so obvious, 10.30. But why 10.30? Right? Uh, and it's so obvious. Why am I getting killed on these uh, squeezes? Why is there so many zombies? Oh, easy to borrow. You see how non-obvious easy to borrow is? Yes, seriously. Even farmer thinks because there's a lot of shorts that it won't go up. These it's not obvious. There's no way that motherfucker would ever figure this shit out because he's a donkey. But um, <laughs> but I figured out. I figured out, and and you would not hear this from anybody. I swear to God, man, I have not heard about this. That it, that the natural buyers, the natural bidders of a stock. People think the natural buyers of a stock are longs. No, dude, those are the natural sellers. They buy once and they're waiting to fucking sell. Shorts are shorting, waiting to cover. So they are bidding. They're always on the fucking bid. Bidding, 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 bidding. Same thing with longs. They're always on the offer trying to sell their position. So, so it's, it's counterintuitive. That's the same thing with the easy to borrow kind of thing, right? So there's a lot of fucking shorts. It becomes overcrowded in one scenario. And that's why, think about the overcrowding. When you have everybody going the same fucking direction, that's what shit goes wrong. So easy to borrow means so many guys can fucking short this shit for free. And so when a stock goes up, what do you, what is the natural inclination to sell, 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 right? It's not to add more. Adding to a winner is very counterintuitive, but that's the way to trade. Adding to a loser is very obvious. And, and, and that's what people like to do. They like to fucking... Keep adding to loser.
And so now we figured out something, man, which is really, really cool. It sucks that I had to lose to learn this shit, but shit happens. So I, I swear about anytime you have like a really bad day or like a bad training loss, the members get so much fucking value, dude. I hate to say it, bro. I, I hate seeing you lose, man. But at least, at least like we can all learn from it, right? So There's once again, man, I lost. I didn't run away like these fucking cowards do. I don't make excuses. I don't take these trader nap bullshit. Fuck them, dude. Seriously, no, man, dude. you're an educator. Yeah. I, 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 I am telling you right now, man, these, these guys are fuck, fuck you. They, they are scared shitless to walk in public. They, they don't, they're they going to get their ass whooped, you know? So, um, but you know what, man, at, at this level, in my opinion, man, I mean, fuck, man, even losing what I'm, I lost today, it fucking hurts, but it's not, not the end of the world. Um, but discovering something new, I think excites me. And so this, so we discovered a lot of new things, guys. We, we used this, we, the zombie world was very exciting. Uh, easy to borrow. Um, natural bitters of a stop or the shorts. Uh, deviation from VWAP. Um, these, the, the, the 3 p.m. rule, 3.30 p.m. rule, the reversal hour rule. And you know, you notice, you notice now the reversal hour is not reversal hour anymore. They, they game that. So, so rules change over time, guys. The rules are not absolute. The rules change over time. And so you must adapt because the algos are adapting. Dude, and back so in the you, day, back in the day, Bal, you could literally just short and walk away. You just can't do it anymore, man. It just does that that it does not exist anymore. And you know what? That may change again. Like I don't know, but we just do the best we can, set max daily loss, set hard stops, and obey trend. Don't fight front side. And if you do, use a very small amount of size that you can handle. Size correctly. And guys, that's I'll tell you, man. I uh, the 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 I'm going to repost that thread again. I'm going to repost it and I'll reiterate and we can. Yeah, please do. Stuff. Please do. Um, everyone needs to read this. Jerry Springs, okay. give me a seizure. <laughs> Here, I'm going to post this right now. You guys. Oh, uh, AMC is breaking down. Read this again, man. We can be nice. I mean, dude, I bur I hardly lose guys, seriously. But when I lose sometimes, it's fuck. This is the biggest loss I had in a long, long, long time. Long, 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 long time. Um it's under hundred grand though, but it still fucking sucks. <laughs> yeah. uh, and, and, uh, I think I think <laughs> um, the, well, but 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 that's that's the thing. So when you lose, make sure it doesn't fucking uh, you know blow you up. Because you could have a 99% success rate, and that 1% is going to blow you up. And that's well, and Bell, like looking at the positive of you know the situation, obviously the loss has already taken place. So, like, what are the positives, right? Outside the members learning, I think that you've really over the years, man, identified that, bro, Bow, you are so good until you get super cocky. It's the only time, bro, where you really kind of lose your footing and then have the bigger losses. Obviously, like the max daily loss, like now you have that on the account, I'm sure, and ones that don't trigger, there's that that's a whole nother topic. But dude, I'm telling you, it like like that was my biggest weakness, and I think it still is as well, just like yours, is getting too confident. I think I think the more we trade, the more you can just learn to identify yourself seriously, even after 10, 20 years, and the more you can do to just mitigate the problems in your process, right? And that's yours. So, let's, let, let me uh so Fong, I like this guy. He's been here a while. Let me dissect what he just said. Yeah. Uh, mini shorts are still stuck. Why do you say that, Fonz? What is your so I like to so I want to help people when they say stuff where their mentality is, where their mindset is. Because yeah. all these things, they just, I think people just make shit up. <laughs> um, uh, the reason why I think that's a flawed error is the VWAP is 40, 50. Those biggest volumes on the VWAP. Uh, 40, 56 is VWAP, yeah. Yep. Those that are out, the shorts that are stuck got fucking covered at the fucking 50s. And you saw the parabolic. There's, in my opinion, there's no more shorts that are really stuck. Now it's a short on pops. Tomorrow it's going to be a fucking great short at 50s, 55, whatever the hell it may be. But in my opinion, this thing is a dead duck. You can try to play bounces, but set a fucking hard stop. Who the fuck is left short stuck? If I'm stuck, I'm out. I'm blown away at 50s, which is I, I covered already. So, so you notice uh, when, when something goes down that much, Okay, there might be a 45 support line right now, but it's risky as fuck to go long. 
the move of the long is over. This is considered now the trend. The trend has been broken. Draw the trend line. Okay. Notice it's going to start. It's going to go up, go down. But in my opinion, this thing is fucking dead. Uh, the hard part is staying alive until this happens. Tomorrow, 50 fucking five line is fucking golden. If it gets there, 50. But um, when you look at this, you have to think to yourself, put yourself in the mindset of a short seller. Who the fuck is stuck? If I'm in this stock at $40, I'm out at 50s. The broker got me out. I have no fucking money left. Uh, when you see these parabolic moves like that, it gets people fucking out. And then let me take a look at the volume profile. The volume profile says the volume is all up in this 45 area. That means if it breaks under this, all of that vault, all the people up there are stuck. They're back holders. So the longs that chase up there are back holders. So around the $40 line, which is the VWAP, it actually makes sense. You know, it's right there in the middle of the volume profile. That's like the over under kind of VWAP is like the over under where it's going to go. In my opinion, if it's, this stock is pretty much squeezed out, whoever wanted out. Um, the best way to trade this stock, don't fucking trade it. Don't yeah. fucking trade it. I agree. It killed fucking professionals. It killed every, everybody. There's well, so many easier. Well, Bell, let me say this because you know, you know, I've I've always made this very clear from the day I started educating. I said, guys, when you're new, you just I don't care if you're long or short and you're even following trend, you don't know how to play a stock that has forty dollars of range in one day. It's too much for you when you're new. This is just too because, dude, even if you nail the trend, right? You're like, okay, I'll get it back on a pullback and I'm waiting for the dip. If you're $2 early and you're a new trader, you don't even know how to handle that right or the scaling. And it might shoot up. You follow trend and you know exactly what you did. You even got an entry you kind of like, but then it shoots down another dollar and you didn't size right. You didn't scale right. You just can't account for that. If, if you're new, man, stay away from such rangy fucking stocks, in my opinion. And that's my opinion. Uh, when you see fucking shit, people getting killed on, and these are professional guys getting killed on. <laughs> <laughs> That's a better way to say it. Yes, for sure. <laughs> um, when the when the veterans die, maybe just maybe just don't trade that day. Well, and, and also this, guys. Think, uh, you remember once again, you can trade however you want, guys. If go 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 load up on the long. It doesn't matter as long as you have to as the max day, max day loss in. Because who the fuck knows? Seriously, who the fuck knows? This can go to a hundred dollars, bro. Seriously. So my thing is do whatever you want as long as you predefine your risk and set your fucking max day loss. Notice this going down and down. This thing is dead, dude. I'm just wishing every, every short trader who fucking covered at the top, including myself, praying for this shit to go back so they get short. Yeah. Because we all got blown out. Look at the volume where we got blown out, guys. You want to see this chart? I'll show you this fucking chart. Yeah, let's see, Bob. For educational purposes at this point. All right, let's see, brother. Yeah. Let's examine this shit. I, w I went way too much at the 20s, and it blew me up to the 30. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, I see, man. That that was uh, – Yeah. That was, farmer, that was farmer, farmer, farmer got me today on this. He made back the money at the time. So he made money on this. I lost money on this. So um, – And that's – And so when I covered – You notice when I covered, guys? I thought it was retro. I'm done for the day. <laughs> and then I went back. That's why you saw the second wave where I made money. I made a bunch of money back. You see, I scaled all the way up. I made it all the way down, yep. right? Yep. And it gave me the false confidence. And that's why it fucked me over. So I actually made a lot of losses back until the fucking reversal hour. I got fucking chewed out. You see that shit? I see it, bro. I, 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 was, I was actually on, on, on my rent. And it fucking skipped on me. I turned around. What the fuck? <laughs> well, it was crazy. IG live. It was a, it was an IG live, dude. So I I pretty much from the I from from the morning I doubled my losses. So I made back a lot of the losses. Yeah. I was actually I was like, okay, I'm cool, I'm cool, and then boom, it teleported from 36 to 50, dude. Well, because because like the thing the thing that I want new traders to understand, man, and you know we should probably end with this because we're almost coming up. But but guys, like when you really understand price action, 
this is going to write you a love letter. And what I mean by that is you're just going to see hidden messages in it, right? Like I could look at this chart and immediately know what Val was thinking. He was a little early and a little bit sloppy here because he got overconfident recently. And also he even admitted he didn't, you know, do the reg show and stuff appropriately. Like he was a little quick to go into it, right? So that's the first one. He gets confident and goes real confident right here because he makes most of his loss back. But then revenge trade fights it. Can't, you know, do, doesn't really want to accept that maybe he lost big here. And then one last, you know, kind of revenge. And that's, that's, that's the problem. And, and notice, man, I had big size high. Yeah. And then now I'm watching this thing drop 10 points. So if I had, if I had just held it, but my brain was already all fucked over. You so I'm like, if I held it, if I held it, it might go to hundred. That's the, that's where we eliminate the gambler in us, right? That's where we kind of do the max loss, admit defeat and say, you know what? Back to process tomorrow. I want to trade for a hundred years. I don't want to trade for one fucking week and no one's ever heard of me again. That's not what you want. So I get it, Val. I get it, man. Today is a really good learning lesson for members. Seriously. Let me show you this other one. That fucking another one. So one loss is not is bad enough. I got two of them. Was it the team? Uh, dude, this one I I was actually up, and then I got fucked. You, you you can see where I got killed on this one. We're talking TCAT, right? Yeah. Yeah. Here, I'll pull up the chart for you guys. One sec. Uh, one sec. Oh, God, and look what it did day one, man. It looks like a perfect low hanger, man. I'm telling you. Yeah, it's just uh, – dude, dude, T – dude, it was over. It was under VWAP. Was under literally, yeah. And then you see what happened. Next, you know, what the fuck? Dude. It halted up. It halted up multiple times. You know, like covered and covered. And then, dude, dead. So, well, and, 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 like, and I get all your shorts and, and recovers because, Val, literally up to this point, it's all under the previous high a day. Like, I get it, dude. I get every single level that you hit, every single one of them. I get it. The, uh, and TK uh, yesterday, TK yesterday ended very weak. So I thought it was a fake out. Yeah, yeah. And then, dude, it teleported, teleported, and it tell one last, this, the one last teleport fucking like it was just the fucking. It, it, this kill. one, this is the one he's talking about, guys, right here, that last final fucking teleport trap, man. Oh, uh, because because after this blow off, you think that they just got everybody. You think, nope. okay, got everybody. I can make it back. Fuck it, I'm gonna make it back. I, I really thought that they blew all the shorts out yep. right here. Uh, and then uh, I know, bro. I then, know. Then, then, then. So the thing is, once the top was set, it's easy. I made I made some money back, but dude, the the death blow was the fucking. That nine fucking 10 bucks and 12 bucks. Well, and to, and to go back to what Fonz was saying, you know, like guys, when, when a real top is exposed, like a real top, like, dude, this was a real top exposed. These little ones usually fucking work. That's why th you just have to identify. And sometimes it's going to fake you out, which is going to be the real top. And this one happened to be, but then say this was, if you look at this chart that Bow just posted and say you only looked from here to here. So like in, eliminate these, Dude, wait for the top, hit the pops. They were now that's perfect process right here to make some money back. And if these were his first trades, you know, this would have been a fucking solid day. But see, that's the thing. What Val was saying on RGC is let's go back one more time. Is bro, this looks like now we don't know 100 percent but this looks like a really nasty top. You know, this should be the end. And that's why shorts would be praying for 55 again to hit the pops back on once the trend's kind of broken. But again, man, it all goes back to risk fucking management. No, notice, notice the VWAP is the over under. In both of these scenarios, take a look at TCAT. Yep, going back. Fucking okay. bounce right off of fucking VWAP. Dude, too, like, and like a ping pong ball perfectly, too. I know. All and day, that, all day, not one minute did it go under at once it reclaimed in the morning, bro. Not one time. Isn't that that's insane? Why, that's why I scaled up. Fucking like that, and I'm like, dude, it's it, and then I know, uh, bro. I, and it, I, I, it, it, it halted, and when it halted, I was like, fuck. Um, because real realistically, about realistically, I would say looking at your charts on RGC as a tab member to you, as a tab buddy to you, I'd say you got lop, sloppy and revenge on this one, but dude, TCAT was just the one where process just doesn't work 
a hundred percent of the times, nine times out of ten. My my problem was this, guys. So this this is just I, one I, of those ones. So TCAT, they ran out of fucking shares. I waited, waited to keep refreshing to add more shares. Um, that's where the <laughs> max. That's where the max size comes in, guys. Uh, fucking TCAT is fucking. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say this. It's like, dude, this. I was actually okay. Until the last fucking move. <laughs> the last move was like, okay, this motherfucker's still crawling. I stab him in the back. <laughs> uh, now, this is the double tap. Like, the fucking double tap. I mean, the thing is, one bad loss is another. I had two bad losses. So, um, and that's, you know, these are the signals that I fucking was stupid. Because what happened was, what happened was, okay, I got fucking killed on RGC. And then I'm like, I'm looking for a trade to make money back. And TCAT came, and that's what happened then. I was Look, like, okay, man. My, man. My, my favorite thing about this, Bow, is truly, man, I, there's nobody on earth that would fucking lose this amount of money and stay all day to educate. So, dude, I just, as always, man, I, 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 your dedication to the community and getting people to learn, like, who the fuck wants to give a webinar, dude, after you lose a lot of money? You don't want to do that, but you're here, man. You're here educating. So guys, like, it, please recognize what Bao does for the community. Don't ask some dumb questions like, hey, can you trust the mods and shit? Like, it's just going to send us over the roof. And look, man, we're here to get you guys to learn as much as possible. That's literally our fucking job. That's what we wake up to do five days out of the week. Then on the weekends, we, we do the best we can on the weekends. And we, you know, shoot the shit in after hours. But, but you guys need to learn from this today, man. You need to learn. This, 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 this is why... Here. This is this is why I went on Instagram Live to rent to say fuck you to all the fake educators out there. Yeah, we are here. We are here trying to educate, man. I'm not just here to try to make money for myself. I I mean I I can make money. I don't need a fucking. So when I lose, man, it fucking this sucks, right? Yeah. And 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 the real educator will stick around and help. And notice that motherfucking farm and fuck. He always leaves when he loses, but when he stays, he's talking, he's sitting yes, there, he's talking yeah, like a man, fucking, really like he knows it all. He's the best trader in the world, and it's just, and this is why. So it all triggered when I went. I, w I was over in LA, um, and then I was sitting in some place, and then a fucking guy comes up to me and says, "I'm five years of warrior training." The first thing he did was he 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 go, "Wow, oh my god, oh my god, you helped me so much. I've been following you for years. Why are you fucking on an MIC?" <laughs> Not even, it's, it's not even like, dude, it's not about money. Like, yeah. Okay. Like your hundred dollars is going to help us. No, it's, it's the, it's the level of respect for yourself. Like you respect bow, go out of your way. You've been falling for years yet. You stand up and have to fucking explain why you're with a, a known scam artist. Like what? Uh, it's just about dude, five years. He lost, he lost, he lost, he lost so much fucking money. And then, but I'm learning from him. Oh, I'm like, dude, I mean, then why you fucking come up to me and say, oh my God, oh my God, Val. <laughs> now I've come to the conclusion, bro. I've come to the conclusion after it took four years, three years public since MIC was launched. But we, you know, people don't realize that we've been doing this for four years because it took a year to create MIC before we went public. And what people don't realize, dude, is like you get to a point where you realize you truly cannot help everybody. I had a guy that called my business line, bro, last week, 20 minute phone call. I had to debate with him for 20 minutes how he's standing up for farmer or, or those type of people, those type of communities. He, I had to literally walk him through how and why he kept losing money. He stood up for every second of the day, every second, every minute for 20 minutes. He just kept fighting me on. I'm like, dude, I am literally. I, 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 don't, I don't know how to deal with him anymore, man. I don't I think days are, well, I think some I days are better than others, Tosh. Today, it's just fucking, it started with the fucking guy yesterday. I'm just shaking my head at him. I've, I mean, I'm like, dude, $99, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, dude, it's not about the money, man. We're trying <laughs> to create the best community possible. Your, your $100 is not what we're after. We're after some from self-fucking respect that you need to give yourself. But, you know, but, but he, make, he makes so much money. I'm all, yeah, you, you know, Bernie Madoff made a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Good. <laughs> so Bernie Madoff made a shit ton. <laughs> So I mean, that's, I, I I mean, that's, so I understand, man. They fall for the lifestyle, they they fall for the whatever the fuck it may be, and then you know, then, then today that's why I went on and I, and and you hear the real stories from people that fucking finally understand how to trade. When you finally understand, guys, you understand how you got scammed. 
Uh, the victims don't understand they're a victim until they, you know, until they killed. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm, let's end with this bout. I want to end with. Hold on, uh, my, let's go. Let me show you guys. I actually want to show you real quick. One second. And we can end on this because I know the market is closing. I know you guys got to get to lunch and everything. But, but I, you know, I made a video on this, dude. This, you guys need to watch this. This is only a How to make clip from it. But yeah. it's this video. You, I put a tweet. Oh, yeah. let's, let's post that again, bro. Post it on your Twitter and I'll retweet it. Fuck, I'm trying to find the actual long one, though, because I, uh, I know we do some short versions. Let me see if I can find the link. One second, one sec. Dude, it, it was a long time ago. I put a 20 minute video together on why and how exactly they do it. You're getting scanned. Let me see if I can find this. If you guys need to just go back and scroll on our YouTube channel, it's me, I'm wearing a hat, I'm in front of my setup, 20 minutes long. I show you every way they scam you, 20 minutes. I walk you through it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Bal goes, but I'm <laughs> Bal's more excited about the 237 he made on the ECN rebates. Oh shit. You can't make this again. This guy's crazy. You can't make it up, dude. <laughs> Guys, it'll take me forever to find this, but just please go back and watch that video. If you're new, MIC crew. Not part it's, of MIC. A, it's, a, it's your Furu video, bro. It must be. You guys, just you'll you'll find it. I mean, I'll find the link later and we'll post it, but you need to watch that. Oh, thank you, dude. Thank you. There it yes. Is. Watch this. I'm going to post this shit too, man. I'm fucking shit. Bro, it 20 minutes exactly. And I try to make it as funny as I can because I like to laugh, but <laughs> there's a lot of fart jokes. In. <laughs> what? <laughs> this, you know what, man? This took a lot of work to get YouTube to approve this. Dude, it took forever, bro. I mean, I don't know why they protect scammers because you know what, man? The, t the title is how they catch a trading scam. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> this is ridiculous, bro. Oh man, yo, this, this so is when funny. Furu gets the yeah, but that's the that's the minute version though that I found earlier. You guys got to find the, the there's a 20 minute video on this that I this is just a you guys oh, got a minute. Oh shit. Yeah, that that's only the minute one. Shit, right, man, go find go find me the big one, man. We'll we'll find yeah, the big one, man. I'm like I'm talking about Furus, bro. Yeah, yeah. So thanks guys for coming, but uh, one of those days, bro. At least you guys can learn from something from it. So. Oh my yeah, God, dude, now really quick. Our lifetime member Bong said that was the video that made me join MIC. That's awesome, dude. There we That's go, bro. We need to repost it, man. I think I'm, I'm going to find I think uh, we, you tweeted once, right? So I want to search your we'll name. We'll find it. It's, it's on there. We'll find it somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> so guys that are out there on YouTube, man, now you know the difference between a scammer and an educator, guys. Thank you, guys. That's it. That's it. We finally got it. That's the full one. That's the full one. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. All right, dudes. Thank you so uh, much hey. for coming. Bow again, always, man. I know losses fucking blow. Big losses are even worse. And just thanks for educating the team, man. Seriously. Like I said, man, we you know we 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 try to be transparent. So no one's I mean, fuck, man. They're gonna say some shit, but you know, man, it's been a long time since I didn't have this stupid loss. So it is what it is. Best thing we could do, man, is just get better daily and learn from our own mistakes and oh look at this one. Look at this one. <laughs> What's that? What? Uh, look at this troll. Because I bash all these competitors. I guess they, they bring out their fucking shit. That was the OG scammer, man. Claims to make millions in a day, yet still lives in a basement. <laughs> I didn't realize you lived in a basement. Uh, not a this, is, this is a pretty nice basement. <laughs> I was going to say, dude, uh, I didn't realize that the word for basement is actually like $15,000 a month penthouse. <laughs> oh, uh, shit. Idiots, bro. Idiots. Uh, this is the basement that's mom's sleeping in for neighbors. Yeah, I'll take that basement. <laughs> Let's go. Ask his mom which basement is it. <laughs> she visited last night. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, or dad. <laughs> I, I swing both ways. No. Yes, uh, all right, guys. Thank you. Oh, Here comes the trolls. I love it. I love it. Here comes the trolls. Is he there? Is he still there? Yeah. What's that? Is he still there? Oh, no, dude. This, the weird thing is he follows me, too. So you don't have all these uh, these fucking fake guys that just fucking follow me and then, <laughs> bro, the food, the, the 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 trolls are obsessed with you. That's that's the other thing, man. Why do they pay such close attention? <laughs> it's just they're, they're watching us, dude. They're in there. Hey, what's up, bro? It's the ginger magician, bro. It's his it's his burner account. Uh, my response: Your mama likes my basement. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> HR is going to throw us out. <laughs> we get banned from YouTube, but we continue this. Val, I let's go eat some lunch, man. Guys, we'll see you back in after hours, man. Yeah. See you guys. <laughs>